Hello Minecraft Maniacs, it's the Frog Queen here and today we are uh, going right back into this modern house. <laughs> That's right, it's time to do another room in this lovely house. So let's, uh, let's just get right into it, shall we? So we did this in the last video, so this will be, uh, I guess, this will be part two. No, part three. <laughs> Part one was actually building the structure. So I think, do we want to do this one first? I'm, I kept thinking about this. And basically, I kind of want to do this differently than the first time that I created this house, which was for a build contest if you watched part one. Um, so let's see, let's go the terracotta. We're gonna need some of that terracotta. Cyan. Um, I'm gonna need some quartz. Because I think we're going to maybe go with um, the kitchen. A kitchen right now. I think that's appropriate. We're going to do a kitchen. So let's do some quartz. I'm going to need a loom. I'm going to need a banner. Some white banners. We're going to need some dye. I'm going to take white and black dye. And I think that'll get us started. Now, originally I had made this room the bathroom and this room the bedroom. And I mean it is Minecraft, I guess we don't have to be all that um, precise about these things. Um, and I put the kitchen upstairs. So I'm kind of like, hmm, do I maybe want to put the kitchen upstairs? And the reason we're going to do kitchen first is because that's what I'm doing on my TikTok as requested, everybody wanted to see some kitchen stuff. So maybe we will, maybe I will. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the kitchen up here again. So let's just uh, assume that we've got um, a staircase here. Well, let's see, let's take a look. What I, do I want to put the staircase somewhere else this time? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we make this the bathroom here, yes, I think we'll put uh, maybe a spiral staircase here leading up to this like eating area. And I know this is kind of strange because it's very, very open, but um, I kind of like that. It's modern, it's kind of weird. I kind of like it. So let's put um, our kitchen right here, I think. Um, unless we want to make this the dining area and this kind of the kitchen area, we could put the kitchen right here. Let's, let's try it this way. Let's do something a little different. Just, just for fun. Okay, so everybody's been asking me, how, how, how do I make... Everybody's been asking me, how do I make a refrigerator in Minecraft? And I'm not really a big fan of the trap doors and the iron door kitchens for the refrigerators. I'm not a big fan of those. Um, so I prefer kind of this. So let's take quartz blocks right like that. Um, we're gonna use my loom and I'm going to make I'm gonna make basically a refrigerator front so we'll do that we'll choose whoops get rid of that put that white dye in there we'll choose that one um, let's see I want to take oh we'll do, we'll do a large handle I think and then there we go perfect look how easy that was and I think that looks just a thousand times nicer than the iron door for a kitchen. I think it looks a lot better. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, it sticking out too much over this block or, you know, opening and closing it and that sort of thing. And I just, I like that. So this is a more modern kitchen, of course. So let's um, give it a, a nice modern countertop. We want to put a stove and a sink in here, uh, maybe, Maybe the sink, hmm. Usually my counters, in, in my homes at least, the sink would be like right there, and then we'd have a little bit more counter space, and then uh, probably, maybe we could put the stove right here. Although, maybe we'll put the sink here and the stove here. That sounds appropriate. <laughs> you just kinda have to try and figure it out to, to fit it in your personal build, right? So I'm going to use a smoker. Um, I'm going to also take um, an item frame, of course. 
Well, maybe we should, we, we'll do the finishing touches at the end. We'll do the finishing touches at the end. Let's, uh, for the sink, let's go with a cauldron instead of doing an upside down stairs. Um, or the, the staircase, sorry, the backward staircase is what I've used many, many times before. Now, if I do this, I think we could maybe close this up a bit. Um, just because we are kind of, we are making something a little different. Hey, let's... Yeah, let's go like that. Then we can, we need to be able to put a tap here is what I'm thinking. Um, hmm, I don't know if I so much like that. Maybe we will like that. Yeah, I think that that works a bit better. Okay, so then we're gonna take a trip wire. Why didn't that come up? Oh, there it is. <laughs> My cursor was over it. And there we are. Just like that, we'll take a water bucket, fill that cauldron up. Easy peasy. Get rid of those things. And now we're gonna, hmm, make some, we're gonna take some banners and we're gonna make some shelves. Again, some cupboards rather. So let's see, um, oh, we'll take this. So let's take that. We wanna go one this way, so that. Then we'll take the white again. Start with the black first. You could use any color for the handle too. You don't have to use, um, you don't have to use that one. So we're gonna use this. Uh, and then we're gonna look for the halfway point. There we go, perfect. And then we're gonna put the outline around it, perfect. And we're gonna make another one. So let's take the black one and we want it facing in the opposite direction. Perfect. And replace that black dye with the white dye. There we go. And now let's go down to the bottom here. Choose that half one. Perfect. And then the outline. Fabulous. And then you could take these and uh, put them around. Like that. Of course, if you wanted the dot up in the corner too, you can you can kind of play around with it and, and tailor it for your own needs. Now, it's important that we go down and just check to see, make sure that banner isn't showing down at the bottom. And it's not. So we're good. Otherwise, you could double up the flooring to kind of hide it if, it, if, it, if that were an issue. But it's two blocks long and we've got two blocks to work with. So that's good. So that's how you make those uh, cupboards. Of course, you can use trap doors or anything like that. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. Um, but for a really modern look, this is what I like. So let's take a flower pot. Let's take a flower pot. Uh, let's take a jungle tree. I really like the jungle tree saplings for these. And uh, let's see, we want some, you know, some lovely little plants around here. Um, we could put, let's take um, the trap doors now. This is what I like to use for the trap doors. And we just put that right there. <laughs> nice little shelf you can actually put stuff on. Um, we could run it all the way over this way, but instead I think, I think we better look at that stove. Maybe we can make it a little bit more interesting. So I wanna take andesite, oops. Uh, we'll take this. And uh, we'll take this wall block too. I think that will, yes. And we wanna put this right there. Hmm. Almost seems like we don't have enough room. It's times like this where I'm like, maybe we should have made this one floor a bit higher up. So you can see that kind of, you know, that kind of messes with things. Don't really like that too much. But in other words, we could do this. Um, so we could do something like that. And uh, I don't know, put a chimney right out, right out. That could work too. Um, but since we have a low ceiling, let's maybe take a hopper. Because that's a, a half block, I think. I think this might work. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think that that could actually work for us in this case a little bit better. Um, what do you guys think? The hopper instead. And then taking um, that trap door again. 
I think this will, this will work a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, I don't think the trapdoor makes sense. But I think that hopper can kind of work with us. Work for us. <laughs> Listen to me. Stumbling over my words as usual. Uh, let's take an item frame. There we go. Normally, I would put a fire underneath this smoker so it looks like it's cooking. But... I'm not going to do that because, you know, we just got the one floor deep, you know, if we, we go under there, whoop, you know, where are we going to put that fire? So we're not going to do that. But if you do put food in this smoker, it will smoke. So that that's good. That's why you kind of would want to use this over the furnace instead of the furnace. Another thing you can do is take uh, the detector rails. These look like burners. People kind of like these. I don't think I can put it right on top. Oh yes, look at that. You can kind of layer them, but it's kind of glitchy and weird. Some people I've seen uh, will actually just put that on top and that looks like a nice burner. Maybe we'll turn it around though. There we go. Something different that you could do if you didn't want to put food. And then you could actually take your item frames Oh my goodness, let's get rid of some of this extra stuff that I've got on my inventory. Your item frames, and then you could take, oh, let's see, cooked, some kind of cooked food. Um, let's see, let's put some pork. Ooh, we'll put some cooked pork on here. You guys know I'm always eating my cooked pork. And uh, maybe this is like a meal prep station or whatever. You could even take like a birch trap door. These really make wonderful, wonderful plates and put it kind of over top there. Did that one show up for me that time? It didn't show up as well last time. Oh, that's because I didn't place it correctly. My bad. Did it place that time? This always works really well in my survival world, but it doesn't seem to be working here. Oh, it's because I'm clicking on the wrong thing. No. There we go. <laughs> it's like, why isn't that working? Now it seems to be glitching a bit, and I think that's the shader, because when I do this with the shaders on, I don't have that weird glitchy effect. But it does kind of look uh, more like, you know, there's a cutting board. It does kind of look more like um, a plate or something, right? Maybe? <laughs> but I do think the shaders are causing that to kind of freak out a little bit. And of course we could like, oh, take some turtle eggs. You know, these are always good if you just need something to like chuck around, you know. Put maybe a few up there. Like candles or something, I don't know, anything like that. So that was our little kitchen, it's not bad. We could all also maybe do with a little bit of a window, but I think since we've got all this open area, that's probably fine. Um, we might even like change this a bit. There we go. We can see the ocean. Could you imagine living here? Oh, look at all those turtles! <gasps> look at all those turtles! Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I'm done. Um, so then the next thing we're wanna, gonna want to focus on. Maybe we should get some light in here. We'll do the light at the end. Let's let's focus on the dining room table. One thing at a time. Let's try to do that. Um, so for our dining room table. Let's say I want something a little bit modern again. So we don't have like a whole lot of space to work with, right? We've got three, three levels high. You know, I usually like a good six blocks for each floor, but this is a much smaller scale, which is fine. We can totally do that. Um, so let's take, we're gonna make low seating low seating so let's do birch because it's nice and light and it feels a little bit more modern a little bit more of that what do you call it i guess um what's uh, minimalistic a little bit minimalistic modern kind of feel so let's do that um let's also take hmm what do i want the glass, I like the, doing these glass tables, but sometimes these don't work in such a low area, especially with the low seating. So if you notice, we'll, we'll just try and start the table here. I mean, that's, you know, it's a little bit high, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So we'll use string. Um, we'll use trap doors. I'm thinking... Hmm, we could go, if we went spruce trap doors, we could do a lot more, but maybe we should just go carpet, uh, gray carpet, let's see, 
so you know we can always put like in around these this will give us a lot more versatility but it's not very modern looking so I'm very tempted to just put these all the way around then we can't really put anything on the table but I think the table itself will look a, a lot nicer make that a little bit bigger for us yeah that's pretty good that's not bad and then we're gonna just dot some seating around so we'll put one here and I'm gonna use these doors now this is like one of my favorite kind of seats we're gonna go and take a banner well, let's keep it nice and light let's let's do white and we'll put that right on there very 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 light keeping it minimalistic and fresh looking let's let's call it that um, of course this one's gonna be off centered which is always a little bit annoying we can change that by making this a bit bigger don't you love that sound of that glass breaking for some reason <laughs> it's really soothing I don't know <laughs> satisfying uh, we'll put that there there we go always got to put the string underneath that'll keep the carpet up and uh, let's see right right here cozy up cozied up and I think we have to get kind of more yeah there we go and then we'll just move out of the way whoops and you want to crouch and place the banners um, but this is looking a little bit gray and drab so maybe we should try and like punch it up a little bit so let's take a blue banner I like the royal blue that we did downstairs and that could be kind of the theme for the house so let's try that so crouch in place that looks nice yeah I think I like that we could also you know run these right here that helps whoops a little bit of curtainage um why don't we run some glass in there perfect um what else can we look at let's add some light in here so how about a ceiling fan is that kind of weird maybe a ceiling fan won't work in here because we're very low ceiling we'll put a ceiling fan in the other in the, in the bedroom how about that and we're, we're nice and breezy up here anyway so let's see what kind of lighting do we want what are our options um whoops i think we could take glowstone and we could put it in the floor that might be an easy way to conceal some light and then we'll have that downstairs in the bedroom showing as well and we can turn that into a different kind of lamp down there from underneath but uh, then let's take some carpet and we could use we could use the gray carpet I guess again but we might as well take the blue carpet to be honest with you since we're going with that color then you have a nice little you know mat to stand on while you're cutting stuff up and working in the kitchen I think that's nice maybe it really should be over the sink though that's fine we, I'm not going to be that particular about it you know I think it I think it's good so far so yeah that has added a, a bit of color like really easily so I'm looking at this and I'm still not very happy with this I'm still thinking we can we can make something a little bit better for us kind of like a fan or, or cover for the stove um, another thing you can do is take stairs so let's take uh, smooth stairs and we'll just see if we don't like it we don't like it that's totally fine if it doesn't work it just doesn't work this could look very way too big and bulky for this particular spot um, it's looking a little bit big and bulky it would be cool if we had like a double stove here maybe that would look a lot better but what if we just put the stair this way yeah that's just looking very awkward to me I think so let's stick with the hopper and I think I think you can kind of get what I'm what I'm throwing down here uh, ideally I would like this to be upside down but I don't think I can make that happen not to my knowledge so so this is kind of what we're working with but I think 
I think that's still better than nothing there, you know? And so we need still like another light, I think, above the kitchen table. So I think we could just do like a lantern. Whoops, we'll take a blue lantern, why not? And uh, maybe just a birch sign, kind of like downstairs that we did. And we can hang this directly in the center. I think that's the center there. Looks like it, especially since we can't really put anything on this particular table because it's hanging so low. So I think this will kind of add something to the centerpiece and create that light that we need. There we go. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Now we could add even another, you know, seat here. We don't have to though. This could be like an ensuite type of uh, eating area, I guess. But uh, let's look at maybe taking a compost and getting some lovely oak leaves because nothing brightens up a room like a plant or, you know, 10. <laughs> so let's get a few plants in here. I like that. That feels good. And it also makes it feel a little bit more organic. Whoops. Got to crouch to place that, guys, <laughs> or else it just goes into the compost. And that really helps. I'm liking that already. This is better. Um, we could even put one here. That's probably too close. Mm, do I like that? No, that just feels like it's kind of out there awkwardly, doesn't it? That's already better, already better. And the staircase, ooh, shall we save the staircase for the next video? Maybe, because that's going to affect how we do that room. Um, I wouldn't mind right here. We'll take some of those. Um, should we do the birch again? The birch sign. We'll take the we'll take the birch and see how how I feel about it. You know how how we like it. There we go. And I don't think. Oh, it will let me. Okay, I wasn't sure if that banner would affect that that block or not but there we go and then we have like a little bit of a planter there I think that works even though it is inside it is kind of strange I guess a little bit different because it's you know you can see the bottom of that planter but I feel like something needs to go there um, other than that I think we could also make um, a couple of like the tinier planters like this is where you take like flower pots whoops see if we have enough room in this location. We can take a flower pot. We can take um, one of those twigs, which I can never, I think they're called dead, yeah, dead bush. <laughs> and uh, put one of these around here somewhere. And uh, well, maybe we, maybe we could replace this and just see, see what that looks like. And then we will, I don't think it will attach to the glass. Oof. Okay, you're gonna do that to me. You're gonna do that to me. Yeah, it's the glass is a bit of a, there we go. Good, good, good. And then it didn't attach to that glass and that's important. Good, all right. There we go. Nah, that's a little bit different maybe. Um, yeah, and then I think we can get rid of this. It's just not, not doing it. It's just not doing it. And even maybe this should just be over here, you know? Sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. I can hear a wandering trader making that hmm sound as I think on this. Um, I think maybe we could just get rid of this one. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, creative. There we go. I think that works. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's how you can dress up a room. Let's take, ooh, let's see, maybe just go with the paintings. We can go with some regular paintings. Now, if you want to make a painting fit in a small area, um, you could just force it to fit like that. Oh, I like that one. I never get that one. Oh my. <laughs> I wanted I was gonna go for like a smaller one but I never get that one that one's that's kind of nice um, and then maybe like that 
There we go. And then maybe, hmm, what do we, what do we get if I do this? I'm just curious. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Cause it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, you know, shaped differently. Kind of all over the place. I kind of like that. Um, and then maybe we could just see, see what materializes here. Yeah. I, don't, I, I like that one less. I think that works because there's blue in it. Ooh, I never get that weird sunsetty one. Never ever. That's so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. Uh, I feel like something could go here, and that's when we could take like an item frame, um, and maybe just put a flower in it. Let's see what kind of. We could also take uh, maybe like a bottle of water. That might not be a bad idea. Let's try that one. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's take the splash water for no no apparent reason. Um, there we go. Something a little different. I don't know why. It just feels like it needs something. And, uh, of course we could always put some of these item frames up here. And let's see, what, what, what could we put in there? What could we put in there? Um, maybe, maybe th these ones? A peony? Um, how about a large fern? <laughs> Why not? I just feel like we could put something a little bit different, add a little color. There we go. That's already making the room so much better. Don't you think? I think so. For sure. I mean, kind of almost want to put in a skylight or something out here, but I think this room looks fantastic for like a little, I don't know, cottage kind of kitchen in a way, but having a little bit of a modern twist to it. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. I know it's kind of weird and I just kind of like wing it and see what I come up with. Um, I've got lots of different furniture designs and I just kind of like play around with them until I see what kind of fits the room. This is a modern thing. I don't do a lot of modern builds, but uh, it is really fun anyway. This is completely different than the last time that I furnished this build. So I like that about it, you know, kind of cool. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can bring you lots more uh, content and uh, all the links in the description below. And as always, keep mining, keep crafting, keep creating. Bye.